the immortal John Hancock, and today I'm revisiting the Nintendo 64, looking at some overlooked video games that I think are worth going back and playing. Like many people, I think it's easy to just go back and play the top 10 of each library, you know, Mario Kart 64, GoldenEye, the Zelda games, Super Smash Brothers, but you know, the Nintendo 64 library had a lot of games that were great, not the best, that are worth going back and replaying. Today, I choose five of those games that I think are worth it. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. First up is Battle Tanks Global Assault, the follow-up to the original Battle Tanks. The N64 sequel is pretty awesome. It's got lots of different modes. There's a pretty robust campaign. What's really nice about this game is all the different ways you can play it. There's many different modes in multiplayer. And the other cool thing is that you can play them single player with bots. Many different levels and multiplayer even has additional features and levels that aren't on the other one. So lots of cool things. I really enjoy this game. It's fast and furious. The graphics are better than the original. Lots of power-ups to get and things to unlock. As you progress in the game, you do unlock additional tanks, which then you can use in many of the multiplayer features. I found this game to be a great one-player game as well as playing multiplayer. At the time, there was a lot of games that had to do with vehicle deathmatch, you know, with a twisted metal, and Vigilante 8 series come to mind. This holds up. I really enjoyed all the multiplayer options this game has, and I really do enjoy that you can play the multiplayer mode with one player using bots. And so lots of different power-ups make this game enjoyable. And so you can choose how many computer opponents you can go against. And you know, the more opponents, the more difficulty it becomes. Different tanks have uh, different abilities. Some are faster, some have great power. While the first Battle Tanks was decent, this one improves upon it. I do recommend it over the original. If you're looking for an arcade style vehicle combat game, look no further than Battle Tanks Global Assault. Up next is the 3D platformer Chameleon Twist. There was two of these made for the Nintendo 64. The first game does have some multiplayer options, so I do give it the advantage. And it's a cute platformer. It is fairly difficult, and I'm gonna show you why I recommend it. As Davy the Chameleon, you are using your tongue as a weapon and a mechanic to jump around and solve various puzzles, fairly decent sized levels. You are collecting collectibles, crowns on each level, and they're scattered about, and some are very secretly hidden and tough to find. Each level has kind of like a gimmick, and you have to figure that gimmick out and get through to the next stage, to the next part of each level. This is a game in my younger years that I probably wouldn't have explored. But now that the N64 has been out, and this is a game that I personally overlooked, it's time for me to go revisit these games that were decent on the platform that are in my collection. I found the boss fights to be pretty challenging. I do have to say the camera, uh, you sometimes fight with a camera. This is not a perfect platformer. I found the mechanic to be pretty interesting. And Chameleon Twist, you can't go wrong with this game. While there are many fans of this game, this is an overlooked racing game that is awesome. It has great single player and multiplayer features. I really was excited to go back and revisit this awesome racer. Multiplayer options, including Beetle Battle. You can also race any track with a friend in two player mode. 
I really have enjoyed this game. I've heard this from countless other N64 fans. You gotta check this out. You gotta play this game. And finally, I have gone back to check this amazing racer out. Beetle Adventure Racing has amazing track design. And so pretty much if you play uh, the championship single player mode, how it works is that you have to finish in the top three of each race to move forward to the next race. So there's three challenging modes. And what, what's kind of cool too is there's these branching paths on each level. And your goal is to collect bonus points and get all the points on each level. There's unlockables. And so if you get 50 points on each level, then you get a continue, which helps you as the game progresses and gets more challenging, you can use one of your continues to continue racing. The level design is really what makes me keep coming back. Each level includes tons of hidden secrets. There's nitro that is on each level, which gives you a boost of speed. There's a couple times in which I want to race by hitting nitro. And it's nice, it's got, it's got uh, this is the very decent racer. And I know there's fans of this game, but there's several people that may not know about it. It's just one of those games that's kind of drifted into semi-obscurity. And what I like about this too, is that even for a loose cartridge, it is fairly inexpensive. And so, uh, you know, if you're going the loose cartridge route where you just want to pick up a copy to play, this game is fairly inexpensive. And so I found this game to be very enjoyable. Uh, it's got good graphics, good gameplay. You can choose different cards. You can unlock different things. Beetle Battle is another four player mode that you can play. Lots of fun with friends. And so this is a great game to either play single player or if you want to do multiplayer, this is a fun option of the games that I show today. This is probably the one that I am going back to play first. I really found myself getting into this game. What Tricks is a unique puzzle game, and I'm really glad that I revisited this N64 title that I probably passed up many, many times back in the day. What Tricks has many different modes, classic. It's got multiplayer, it's got challenge, it's got a practice mode and a pro mode. So I'm just gonna show you classic. This game has a simple premise. You're raising terrain to create reservoirs, dropping water in the reservoirs, and making sure the water doesn't spill off your table. And all this has a score factor. Uh, it is a very challenging game. It is difficult. I recommend playing this several games before forming an opinion of this game. I'm not good at this game whatsoever still. But I did find it interesting. I've never played a puzzle game quite like this. I do recommend this game because it's a very different style puzzle game. And there is some multiplayer options as well. You use fire to lower the water levels. If you're looking for a puzzle game, look no further than Wetrix. I love the Nintendo Micro Machines game and the N64 version of Micro Machines is amazing. Single player and multiplayer options. Up to eight players can play. Uh, players can share an N64 controller. I thought that was a cool feature. I'm mostly going to show the single player option here. Lots to enjoy about this game. So in single player mode, there's lots of different options here. Head to head, challenge, time trial single race etc and so it's really neat uh, the challenges are pretty neat to go and complete as you progress they get harder and harder this game kind of takes me back to the days of the nintendo there's a lot of variety in the different vehicles and you know especially like with the tanks here you can blast people kind of reminiscent of kind of rc pro-am and so i really enjoyed seeing some, there's a lot of strategy into not only racing the tracks, but taking out your opponents. You unlock prize cars as you go, and that's pretty sweet. I think it's a great, competent racer that's fun. It is sometimes hard to keep track of your car, but overall, I think it, it's awesome. It's got a lot of different features, 
And if you're a fan of Micro Machines, look no further than Micro Machines 64. So there you have it. Those are the games I chose for part one of games that are overlooked on the Nintendo 64 that are worth going back and revisiting. What do you think? What's on your list? Comment below as the games you mentioned might be featured in a future video. I want to thank everybody out there for the ongoing support. Many of these recommendations came from people who have commented on previous videos. Thank you so much for the recommendations. Many of these games I haven't played in a long time. It was nice to go back in my game library and play some of these classic games that still hold up, especially Beetle Adventure Racing. I definitely see myself going back and playing that a lot more. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.